Okay. So today, I'm gonna do some lips. Let's do this thing. Okay. First off, whenever you do the lips, there are five things you gotta know. All right. Man, it's not that complicated. So here we go. First for the lip, there are five shapes, okay? Five, count them, five shapes. First is a heart shape, and the next is an oval. That's all the other ones are. So here we go. We have this nice oval right there, oval right there, oval right there, and an oval right there. And that's it. That, that's basically all it is. So I'm going to take this and smudge it. Okay. And another thing to note for the lips is how do I say it? Pretty much the ends of the lips right here, these little points where the lips end, those are a little bit darker than all of this. Like, let's say I draw my lip and I go whoosh, whoosh, and I'm drawing it. The end points are going to be darker, okay? But also, the middle is a little bit darker too. So here we go. Got that. Just got the impressions of those lines, but not too much. Keep it a little subtle. You got the mouth open just a smidge bit, not too much. And then here we go. A lot of the lip, it's not like, it kind of blends in softly into the face. So really, you just gotta do just this top part, kind of like this bottom part. A little bit of a shadow underneath the lip. And that's basically how you do lips. And I'll do some more and show some stuff. I'll do some more. There's some more options and examples. Oh. Also, the top lip. bit darker than the bottom lip. So for the bottom lip, I'm just going to add a little highlight right there so it pops out. That's, that's overall how the lip is. So I'll do some examples and show you some more. But that's honestly pretty much it. The only difference is you know, if the mouth is open, if it's to the side and whatnot, but I'll, I'll get to that in a minute. So here we go. So first, we'll do some examples as I put the examples right there. So here we go. Got this heart shape. Got that right there. see five shapes the heart and the four little ovals and by ovals I mean kind of big ovals and then just kind of darken the top M kind of shape like this and on the picture you can kind of you can see how be the heart shape and go like this but it's not you know, that's just kind of a general rule. It's not going to be like that all the time. So, like in the picture, it is kind of like that. And like that. Yeah. So, it doesn't have to have that bottom heart's pointy part right there, you know? Right there. the lip right there. I don't like that. 
Here we go. And then just like using this little makeup sponge to help darken everything in a bit. And there we go. Bada bing, bada boom. Well done. Better. Look at that, there we go. Yeah, I'm out of over. I'm done it a smidge. And there's that. And then just darken in a little bit of this spot right here. For that shadow. Lighting it up a little bit right there. For some highlights. And I know I just erased that spot to make it brighter, and then I add those lines. But the reason why I added those dark lines is it brings up a little bit of contrast, so the light pops up even more than if I didn't. So here's a quick example. So here we go. We got these two white spots right there. But for this one, do that little line, and you see how that white pops up more than that one contrast there's some magic stuff right there all right and then one more other thing the reason why the top lip is a little bit darker than the bottom lip is because how it's like angled all right so here we go let's say here's a person's face right here okay guy is looking that way, okay? So here we go. We got his nose right there. Then we got his mouth. His chin. And there we go. So that's the person's face. He's looking over there, okay? Now let's say the sun is up right over here and it's pointing down at him from that direction. Now the sun makes shadows, so shadow right there, kind of, shadow right there, and right there, and right there. So that's why, because it angles down where the sun is pointing at. And so it creates that little shadow effect from that depth as well as right here, like right under the lip. That's why I'm darkening in these areas, because kinda, it's got that little shadow effect right there. You know? So that's kinda why I did it. And now on to another doodle. Another HFO. Okay, so this mouth is more open than the others. But overall, it's still going to be a similar kind of thing. You know, we got this oval shape. Oval right there. Kind of connects right there. Mouth. And a whoop. You see right there? That's where those kind of bumps come in right there. And those ovals. And they connect in the middle. Like that. A little bit of those highlights. Got some teeth. There we go. Okay. And then we just kind of connect everything. So we got it right there. Bam, now you got the lip pointing from that direction. Or not that direction, that uh that angle. Ka-chow, there we go. 
And then I want another one. Now this one will be a little bit different. Well, it's all, like I said, it's all the same stuff. It's always going to be like the heart shape. And those ovals. All of these are just from different angles and depending on if you open up the mouth wider or not. So here's like one example where it looks a little bit different. So here's a mouth wide open, okay? Got the mouth, got the tongue. Ah, ah he's angry. And now here we go. Got those oval shapes right there. So we got the lip right there. And then because the mouth is so wide. That heart shape isn't going to be as prominent because it's stretched out. So instead of being like that, like normal, it'll be a little bit more subtle, kind of like that. So we'll have it a little bit like that. And there we go. I'll just darken that in too. So yeah, so you can just barely see it, but it's still somewhat there. It's kind of like Play-Doh, when you push it all together, when basically when your mouth is closed, it's like that. Well, when it's open, it spreads out. And then there we go. This will be the lip from the side bit, okay? But it's still kind of the same thing. But it looks different because the uh, lip is overlapping because of the turn okay so here we go i got the heart shape right here okay that oval shape again it's overlapping and then oval right there mouth is open uh, got the lip right there Okay, so this might look a little funky at first. I'll just darken everything to smooth it out. Oops, and then we'll take it all down. Okay, there we go. Let's see. That bottom point of the heart shape. Darken that in for the mouth. Right. And then there we go. The lip from that different angle. Just darken that in a smidge room. Lighten up some car some spots. Put it and there we go. And uh, that's basically all it is. It's nothing too too wild. Like just basically do what I'm doing here. Just look at somebody's picture and just copy it, you know. So here we go. Got that open and a little heart shape pretty much. Open it up right there, right there. And again, these are, if it doesn't always match exactly, remember, these are kind of like guides. So it'll still help you out. But if you ever get a little mixed up or things don't always match, you know, don't feel like you always need to copy it exactly, you know. So here we go. Got the bottom of the heart shape right there. Open the mouth in that kind of triangle shape. It goes like that. Oop. Right there. Like that. And goes up. Goes like that. Go chow. And what do you know? It's the lip. Oops. There we go. 
flip right there from that different angle. And still, it's the same thing I was doing from before. And another thing too is kind of like where the lips are on the face, if you ever get confused. So let's say, here's a person's head. Okay, I'll just do this sharp thing real quick. Okay. There we go. Got this guy's face. Okay. So here we go. Let's say you got your character's face right here. What you can do is this diamond shape, upside down triangle, and that pretty much shows you where the mouth is, the middle of the mouth. So what you do, as you see, these lines are right there. And what happens is from the eyebrows, you draw this line, you go straight down, it'll pass the corner of the eye. It goes from the end of the eyebrow, Pass the corner and you just go straight down, okay? Whoosh. And then we do the same thing for that side. There's the eyebrow, to the eye, go down, whoosh. And what do you know? They meet up in the middle of the face. Now what's in the middle of the face? Your mouth. So there we go. So if you're ever kind of confused on where the mouth is, you can kind of do that. And then... Okay. So... The bottom of the lip, right there, is the halfway point. From the bottom of the nose to your chin. Okay? So that's about where the lip starts, is about a third of the way under the nose. I start third of the way right there. That's where the lips go. And we already know that because of this. That upside down triangle. And there's the bottom of the lip. Now what we do is the bottom of the lip is the halfway mark between here and here. So let's just take a little thing right here. Okay? So you see that distance from the from there to there? Just double that. Well, not really double, but droop right there. And what do you know? That's the spot. Okay? So the bottom of the lip is the halfway distance. So whatever that distance is from there to there, you just double that, basically. AKA, this is the halfway mark right there. And also, from like how big the lips are, eh, it kind of varies on person to person. I mean, if you want like a general rule, that's kind of like the bottom of the eye all the way to like kind of closer towards the star of the eye. I mean, I've seen people with lips are like right here where I've done it, and then other people have you know, bigger lips, you know. It just depends on the person and how you draw them overall. But that's just a general rule. 
the lips will be anywhere from like here all the way to the middle of the eye. Like I think I've seen a couple people where it's like just, just slightly past the middle of the eye. But yeah, that's a general rule of thumb. And then, here we go. Let's do this picture again. Another little reference. Okay, so we got the heart shape, but we don't really see too much of it because it's so angled. And then, got that, and then that. Those two oval shapes. Got that oval shape right there. And that one's kind of hidden. But it all, it all work out. So there we go. Got that. Basically, yeah, really. <laughs> That's all it is. Whenever you're doing the lips, it's just the heart and those other shapes. And again, it changes if the mouth is wide open like that, you know. But overall, it's gonna be pretty similar. Depending on if you color them in or not, you can get a totally different feeling. So let's see. Here we go. I'll draw this person's lips without the lips. And you see, what this is more like anime style. But overall, it's going to be similar. In a way. It's kind of like, yeah, you'll see what I mean. So here we go. Doing the lips right there, boom, boom. But I'm not coloring them in. There you go. Those are ovals, and from those ovals, and then where the bottom of the lip is. And now what I'll do is leave everything without. Oh, or I won't shade it in. <laughs> That's what I mean. That's what I meant to say. You're gonna highlight, just darken in the mouth. And what do you know? Now it's like an anime mouth. And then you can still have some of that plumpiness too. You know, just by doing. Well, I mean, I'll show you. So, like, here we go. That's an anime mouth, right? But, bam, now I do that. Now that lip is plump. And I can add a little bit more juiciness if I want by adding the top of the heart. So here we go. Add the top of the heart. So you see, got the top of the heart and the bottom part, and it's all nice and plump. Don't always have to do that though. So here we go. Another anime mouth. Okay. Keeping the keeping these lines basically gone, just kind of transparent. And there we go, anime mouth. But what do you know? Boop, now it's a lot more plump and juicy, you know. And now we'll do the exact same mouth again. Let's see if there's a difference. If I do the top. Okay. Oh, what do you know? It's all nice and plump. And then another thing that people do is, this is what I personally do a lot of times, not all the time, but we'll do the exact same amount again. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do all that same jazz. But, now, 
one. Mm -hmm. it's just the top part, though. and juicy and it's still somewhat anime-ish I guess <laughs> I mean I guess what kind of makes it a little bit more anime is I completely left those lines and got rid of them these ones I left them eh, I kind of didn't always do it <laughs> but you're getting the picture huh? at least I hope you will I'll do another example right here to it. Yeah, all it is is just that heart and those four holes and just kind of squishing them, stretching them out and overlapping them. That's that's really all there is to the lips. There's nothing too fancy about it. And again, you can take off the top lip, keep it right there, have no shading, just some shading the top part if you want and you know it, it gives it different effects and the only other thing would just be like this upside down diamond shape the upside down triangle again it's the corner of the eyebrow the corner of the eye just go straight down same thing on the other side straight down and that gives you where the lip is and then the bottom of the lip is a halfway mark for this whole area. So halfway right there, you get to the bottom of the lip, just double that again, halfway again, and that's the bottom lip. And then the you only know, other thing is just like, can be from like the middle of the eye towards the beginning of the eye, that's where the lips will end. That's about it. Not too much more to know. And sometimes I'll just go like this when I'm doing lips. You know? And it's like, there we go. We got the top lip, a little highlight, and a little bit of shadow underneath the lip. But it's like, that's basically all there is to it. So, whatever you're drawing, just basically just if you want to try and get better at the shapes and whatnot just straight up trace people you know trace pe other people's art do like master copies of it don't like just trace it without thinking whenever you trace it basically you analyze it so let's say here's somebody's mouth okay and then i'm drawing that mouth and i trace over it i'm not gonna know what the heck they did but if I trace over it and then I construct it out with those shapes like this, then I'll be like, oh, so that's why that guy did that thing. And then you'll get it better. So if you do trace and do copies, do stuff like that where you're constructing the boxes 
and the shapes into it so you can get a feel for things and you can understand what the motions they were doing and why they did everything and blah 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 but yeah that's about it so just copy lips trace over actual lips and put in those shapes and you'll see how the shapes are stretched out and squish up whenever people are making their mouth movements I mean heck take pictures of yourself and just trace over that but yeah you'll get it in time and things will be well so I hope you learned something from this because I sure did kind of <laughs> all right take care everyone <laughs>